now and then a new player enters the game in technology, whether it be SSDs, keyboards, mice, monitors, or the plethora of other hardware options out there for enthusiasts. Today here on the desk, we have an Australian-based company called CHC Technologies, which sent me over their 960 gigabyte SSDs and also 480 gigabyte SSD variants, which feature Samsung based NAND flash. Now the controllers and everything themselves, they've put these together and they're giving a five year warranty on the product itself. The pricing seems pretty competitive, but there are however, a few problems with the product that I will address before we get on to the majority of the review. And that is first the temperature sensor on the 480 gigabyte SSD was staying at a static 49 degrees. So I couldn't actually get a proper reading until I used my uh, FLIR 1 thermal imaging sensor, which showed that the temperatures of course were getting hotter when put under a stress test. The temperatures were acceptable and it looks like it's using the metal tray to dissipate some of this heat. However, the metal tray itself could be a detriment because the 960 gigabyte version that we have here actually died after one transfer. So I'm not entirely sure why that happened. Perhaps it absorbs shock too easily as opposed to a plastic SSD casing. I'm not entirely sure what happened, but the SSD just stopped working and this was the more expensive option. So although there is a five year warranty, I'm sure a lot of people wouldn't want to buy a product and have to go through the hassles of returning it and getting it sent back and going back and forth. So yes, I did receive a faulty product, but the numbers were pretty impressive out of the 480 gigabyte version we had here, especially for the price tag. And what you were getting was something that came close to a Crucial MX500, for example, and also a Samsung 860 Evo both which are very popular value orientated options for people who just want an SSD, want to load up their computer, get the benefits of an SSD over a hard drive and also load up games quicker and just in general have a snappier experience due to those much faster 4K read and writes that are offered with SSDs. Uh, but what we got here, of course, is something that doesn't throttle, which I've been checking out on a lot of SSDs. And this is even though they use TLC NAND based flash, the reason it doesn't throttle, as we saw in the Samsung Evo 970 review, which is a NVMe based drive, I'll put the review up here if you want to check that out, is that the maximum speeds, even when they do throttle on the Samsung based TLC NAND flash, is much higher than that of SATA 3's max 500 megabytes per second connection speeds. So really when it comes down to it, the Samsung NAND flash to use the 3D NAND flash, even though it's TLC and even though it does bring costs down and it's cheaper than MLC, doesn't throttle because the maximum speeds aren't being reached near the threshold. So performance figures, read and writes, we're going just over 500 megabytes on the reads. The writes are going near that as well. Uh, the 4K random read and writes, nothing out of the ordinary. Input outputs are a little bit behind that of the Crucial MX500 and also the 860 Evo which saw this drive itself uh, not able to get a higher final score. The access times were in a similar ballpark. So ultimately this drive does perform pretty well. And uh, just it's sad to see that in ways it's still a little bit underdeveloped, but my hats do go off to a local Aussie company trying to have a crack at making an SSD, especially when the case itself does look really nice. I do like the styling of this SSD product and it will look very nice in a number of different cases, especially if you have gunmetal gray as a main theme in your build. So in conclusion, CHC Technologies and their SSDs, I still feel like they're a little bit underdeveloped. The temperature sensor not working properly on the 480 gigabyte model, coupled with the fact that the 960 gigabyte died after a uh, file transfer, the first file transfer I was doing, uh, isn't that reassuring to me, uh, especially since I've never had an SSD die. However, hardware failure, especially when you're dealing with as many PC parts as I'm dealing with, does happen. Uh, and I would like to see perhaps these SSDs stress tested a lot more than they otherwise would have been. Perhaps because this did uh, the 960 gigabyte version, which I'm holding in my hand right now, did die on the first transfer. So as I said before, which does make me believe that perhaps if it was stress tested a little bit more, it would have uh, shown the early symptoms of a problematic drive and uh, CHC Technologies could have fixed it before sending it out. Anyway, regardless, I do like to see a newcomer coming into the field. I do like more competition and the drive as well, as I said before, is aesthetically pleasing. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button. Peace out for now. Bye.